Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can easily add or accentuate sun rays in Illuminar. So normally we do these kind of effects in, um, in Photoshop, but Luminar makes them really, really easy to do uh, without having to go and find a whole bunch of overlays to put in uh, as a separate layer and blend them in together. Uh, stuff like this, Luminar makes a very, very easy process of it, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing we need to do is find our image. I found this one, and this one already has a nice sunburst in it, but I want it to be a little bit bigger, so I want to accentuate this one. But if you don't have an image that has sun rays or sun, sun at all, you could actually basically create one uh, using these same processes. So uh, when you're in Luminar, what you're going to do is go to your uh, tabs over here. You have your Essentials, your Creative, your Portrait, and your Professional. We want to go down to the Creative. And when we go down to the Creative, we got a couple options here. You can see this one's already expanded. It says Sun Rays. Um, but if I go ahead and expand some of these other ones, we have Sky Replacement. We have Sun Rays that we're going to talk about. Dramatic, Matte Look, Mystical, um, a whole bunch of other options here. So we're going to go to Sun Rays here. And what we need to do first is place where we want our sun to be or where our sun is. So we have this little button that says place sun center. So we click on that and we get this little, um, this little handle here and we drag this around our image where we want our sun to be. Now obviously in this image our sun is over here on the left side so I'm going to place it right here on the left side. And now what we can do is go ahead and uh, take our mount and just slide that up a little bit. And you can see what we do, just number one, we slide our, our mount up to one, we get a, a nice burst there. We can go crazy with it and get a lot of sun rays all the way up to uh, 100. That's a very excessive amount, you can tell. Uh, but what we're going to do is just kind of back it down a little bit. We're going to go to, let's go to 20. And so we have our overall look here. This is going to be how, um, how, the, how it basically affects the whole image. Uh, so we, we can actually make the whole image darker to where it's kind of exposing for the sun or we can kind of expose for the whole image. I'm going to keep it right in the middle at 50. We can change the length of our sun rays. We can make them really big, really small. Um, it depends on what you want to do here. Uh, so I'm going to keep this one, uh, let's keep this one about 40. And then penetration is basically going to be how much sun is poking through. Uh, basically, so we're going to keep it uh, around around 30, 35 between there. It sounds a good, sounds like a good, um, a good amount there. So number of rays, obviously that's self-explanatory. How many rays that you want there? We're not going to go crazy with ours. We're again just accentuating our sun, and then we have our radius. Uh, we, how much, how much it's radiating out? Basically, how much uh, uh, of a range we're getting there? Our glow radius. We're not going to mess with that. Uh, but then we're going to go down here to our sun warmth. This is where we can warm up the sun. So we can see we have, it's kind of white now, overblown. And now we can actually change it to a little bit more warmth there. And then our sun rays warmth. This is going to be the rays over here that we can actually warm up. And that's going to increase that warmth over there on the left side. So uh, that basically is our sun rays accentuated. You can see here's the before, here's the after. We're just adding that little extra pop there. And what we can also do if we wanted to, we can actually randomize this so we can slide this up and it's just going to randomize all of those sun rays so we can find one that we like, maybe one that's uh, kind of angled a little bit differently. So maybe that one, here's the before, there's the after. You can see you have a lot of stuff to play with. So. Uh, instead of going and hunting around for all these overlays that you need to save in, in a PNG format or blending them in using a blending mode, you could actually do this extremely easy in Luminar 4. And uh, if you want to check out more about Luminar 4, we have a beginner's course on Luminar 4 that you can check out over at sleeklens.com. Link in the description down below. You're going to learn almost everything there is to know about Luminar, all the tips and tricks. Uh, what all the sliders do, everything like that. So go check that out. Again, link in the description down below. But this has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next video.